Hey guys, I'm going to do a little quick review on the strap code end mill. This is the PVD version and it's on my Ninja Tuna. They only come in uh, 21.5 millimeters in the PVD coated. The Tuna is um, 22 millimeters, but they make it in 21.5 so it can go a little bit more flat. It's uh, made for people which uh, have bigger wrists. But since I have a small six and a half inch wrist, it wouldn't matter for me. These are uh, screw and pins, and that's a diver diver's clasp. I like the diver's clasp. It's very thin. I don't like the other clasps they have. They're too bulky for me. This is a very, very nice band. Look how it's brushed and then polished on the sides. Keeps the original design. Let me show you guys the pin. This is odd to me, I guess. I guess they did it so it can flex. You see that? I'm not sure why. They're all like that. I don't know. I don't know why. You would. Yeah, I would think they would make one where it had threads at the end instead of at the top. I actually have this one get stuck on me. I can't even remove it. It screws out all the way, and then you can't get it out. I know, you know, strap code is, is it's made in Hong Kong or China, but the quality is, is, is phenomenal. But I guess it's just, just odd that they would make them that type of, of pins. And this was an expensive band too, a hundred and... Hundred and eleven dollars. It's pretty expensive. But you know the tuna isn't a cheap watch, so I wanted something something nice for it. Let me put on the wrist. I really, really like this band. I just wish they, they would have made those pins a little different. Also, make sure to lock tight them. Because they will come out on you. Alright guys, just going to do a little review on the Strapco and Endmill bracelet. Have a wonderful day.